All right, good morning, everybody. It's Mike. Thanks for jumping on here with me this morning. Hey, you know my old contention, right? That content, and I know we all struggle with this, with our marketing content. Mike, I want to get my marketing message out. I want to have a, a newsletter or I want to make videos and I want it to have a robust YouTube channel and social media platforms. I just don't know what to say. If I just knew what to say, Mike, I would do it. And my contention is, what your, your content, your subject, what you're going to speak about is lying on the ground all around you. All you have to do is bend down and pick it up. Or another way to say it is when, when I know when I say I can't think of anything, I'm practicing a form of intellectual laziness. I really didn't want to. And so I say I can't think of anything and as if that just lets me off the hook for it. No. Come up with something. The content's laying on the ground all around us. We just have to want to. We just have to reach down and pick it up because it's not going to leap up into our arms and it's not going to do the video for us. We have to want to. And if you want, don't want to, I guess I get it, but I'm kind of wondering what the hell you're doing in real estate. So today, the reason this is on my mind this morning is I opened my emails this morning and FMLS has their monthly newsletter out. And I always find that interesting. There's always something in there that's new or interesting or kind of keeps me in touch with where the market is, either confirms or argues with maybe some of the uh, views or assumptions I might have. They always share some data, which is I need to be aware of as a real estate professional. Uh, we need to be aware of it. So when I'm looking through it this morning, I go, hmm, hmm, like what? Uh, well, the average home price in Atlanta is now 400 and almost 460,000. 459,982 as I read it off the screen. 460,000. Interesting. More interesting is that's up 11.5% over this time last year. Uh, that's interesting. Thought prices were coming down. No, it's, it's not up. It's not down. Prices aren't down. Prices aren't up 30 some percent like they were talking about last year this time. Things have kind of calmed down a little bit. 11.5% home price appreciation over the last 12 months. Still pretty high. Still higher than Atlanta's used to. We're more of a calmer marketplace. You know, single digit appreciation, something under five has been much more typical for the Atlanta market over the years. Uh, 11 and a half still seems like a strong market, but maybe not as crazy as it was. You agree with that? 460,000 for an average home price. Just damn. I guess I'm getting old, but that used to be a luxury home. Uh, now that's the average? 460. Wow. Okay. All right. More interesting than that to me today is homes for sale. There's 19,071 homes for sale in the Atlanta footprint. Okay, what's that mean? Uh, it means our available inventory is up 42.2% over a year ago. 42% more homes for sale than a year ago. Who's that important to? Oh my gosh. What has been home buyers and real estate agents' biggest complaint over the last few years? There's not enough homes for sale. Well, it's up 42% over the last year. Do you think that we might have some home buyer prospects that would find that very interesting, that would find that good news? There are many more homes for sale right now. As a matter of fact, it's over 42% more homes for sale. Is that good news for them? Is it relevant news for homeowners? So if somebody, if I have a listing or I'm speaking with somebody about listing their home, is this information that a homeowner would need to understand the marketplace? So a year ago, folks, there were 42% less homes for sale. 
So, and interest rates were half of where they are now. So the competition for homes for sale was much higher than it is today. The market is calmed. While your house is still going up 11%, it's not going up 30% anymore. Things have calmed down a little bit. Do you think homeowners need to understand this so they can accurately assess where they are in the marketplace? Are you looking for the content? And then are you putting your own unique view on it and, and saying it your way and giving your opinions and your view and your take on what this might mean to your people? I hope you are. Because if you're out there saying, well, I couldn't think of anything, then you're being intellectually lazy and you're trying to let yourself off the hook very easily. Look for the content, folks. You're a professional. The Atlanta Journal every morning, the Atlanta Business Chronicle, the Wall Street Journal, the, the information that you get in your inbox. How is this relevant to your people? And are you sharing it with them? And are you putting your own unique view on it? And if you are, then I want to congratulate you. And to you, I want to say that's how you're going out there and you're making it happen for yourself every day.